Hello, it's Jim from JetsonHex.com. Today we are going to hook up a Bosch B&O 055 IMU up to a Jetson TK1 development kit. Let's get started. First, let's work on the wiring. These signals come out of J3A1. Pin 14 is ground. Pin 16 is 3.3 volts. Pin 18 is SCL and pin 20 is SDA. For the purposes of this demonstration, we take those signals, bring them to this proto board, and then to a USB breakout board. We connect the USB breakout board via the programming cable that came with the Jetson to a micro USB breakout board, and then we route the signals to the BNO 055. Next, we start up the Jetson and install some software. The first thing we're going to do is install some tools to be able to look at the I2C bus. Pseudo apt get install. Live I2C dash dev and I2C dash tools. Next, let's check to make sure that we can see the BNO 055. I2C detect. You have to use sudo, but we already know that. And here it is at 0x28. So now we're ready to install RTIM ULIB for our demo. We go to the Jetson Hacks account on GitHub and find the RTIM ULIB. We'll grab that. You have to have git installed, so we git clone. A prerequisite to run our demo here is to have Qt Creator installed. We go to the Linux directory, RTMU Live Demo GL. We open up the .pro file. We configure the project. Then we build all. We should be able to run our little program here. Let's go find out where the build was placed. It's here. Output directory. Switch over to that directory. We need sudo for permissions. We have our little program. So now when we move the INU, so this is the yaw, this is roll and pitch. 